Hey guys, Cooper Carter from Solo A Week here for G66, and in this video, I wanna show you how to set up your Axfex 2 XL for use with the MFC Mark III foot controller and a Mission Engineering G66 SP1 expression pedal with a switch. To follow along in this setup video, you'll need an Axfex 2 XL, an MFC Mark III foot controller with the included G66 XLR cable, two TRS cables, and a Mission Engineering SP1. First, we're going to plug in the Axfex using the power cable. When it boots up, you'll see the first preset on the screen, 59 Base Guy. Connect to your monitor's power amp or other amplification from output 1's XLR or quarter inch outputs. Plug your guitar into the instrument front panel using an instrument cable. You can set the Axfex's output level through the monitors by using the output 1 knob on the front panel. Connect your provided G66 XLR cable to the Fastlink port on the back of the Axfex 2. Now connect the other end of the XLR cable to the Fastlink port on the MFC 101. Once the MFC is booted up, it may display X000 and then a blank screen. After a few seconds, it will then display Axfex name timeout. Hit the edit menu and then hit setup. We're going to change the Axfex mode from 2 to XL. Hit setup again, and then MIDI. We're going to change the port to Fastlink, which is the XLR connector that's shipped with your MFC. If you're using a standard Ethernet Cat5 cable coming out of the MFC slot on the Axfex and going into the Axfex slot on the MFC, you can leave this on expansion. Now hit edit to save. Now there are a couple other edits we can make to the MFC that are optional but that I like to do for ease of use. First off, you'll notice that the edit button enters the edit menu with one quick press. This is great for when you're editing the MFC's features, but it's not so great for when you're playing live. If you step on it playing live, you'll enter the edit menu. So we can change that by entering setup and scrolling over. Edit menu short can be changed to edit menu long. Hit edit to save. Now, a long press is required to enter the edit menu. One other change I like to make is adjusting the display offset on the MFC and Axe Effects so that my first preset, instead of 000, will be 001. We're gonna make a long press on the edit menu, enter setup, and page over. Axe Effects display offset becomes one, and MFC display all set becomes one. Edit to save. You'll notice the presets change to be 001. We now need to make the same change on the Axfex. In the input output menu, we're gonna go over to MIDI, scroll down to display offset, and change it to one. By default, the instant access switches on the MFC are compressor, drive, phaser, flanger, chorus, pan tremolo, pitch, multi-delay, delay, reverb, tap tempo, and tuner. The first five switches on the bottom of the MFC access the first five presets in a given bank. To bank up, hit up, and to bank down, hit down. But the first five switches have a hidden instant access feature. If you hit the reveal switch, they turn into IA switches that control scene one, scene two, scene three, scene four, and scene five. Hitting reveal again will turn them back into preset buttons. Changing any of these instant access switches functions is easy. I don't use pitch very often, but I'm a big fan of rotary, so I'm going to change number 12 to be rotary instead of pitch. We're going to enter the edit screen, select MIDI, and then page over. To IA switch 01, you'll see that it's set to scene 1. As I scroll up, you can see what each instance access switch is set to. We're gonna go up to 12, parameter over, and I'll scroll through here so that you can see all the different options. We've got all the blocks, XY states, scenes, etc. We're gonna to go to rotary one and select exit to save. And there we go, the rotary is now accessible. The first five buttons access the first five presets in any given bank. You can scroll between banks 
using the bank up and down switch. But what if we want to have access to 10 presets? We can simply turn these five instant access switches into preset switches. Hold down the edit menu, go to setup, and page over to bank size. We'll increase this to 10. Now these five will become preset switches. You can increase it to 15, and you'll use these as well for presets. Still have access to the tap tempo and the tuner, or you can scroll up to 17, and all of these buttons will become presets. Preset one, preset two, preset eight, preset 17. Now let's set up the mission engineering pedal with a switch as a wah pedal. Make sure you're using TRS cables, not TS, and connect one to output one and one to output two on the mission engineering pedal. On the back of the MFC, you're going to connect output one to expression pedal one and output two to switches one and two. Now that the pedal's connected, we're going to make a couple of changes to the MFC. Enter the MIDI menu and scroll over. At expression pedal 1, you see that the CC number is 11. This controls the output 1 volume. Expression pedal 2 is connected to CC number 16, which is external controller 1 in the AxFX. We want to use this pedal as a wah pedal, and it's plugged into expression pedal 1's port. So we're going to go over and change the value to 16. We also want to switch this value to pedal. Now we need to calibrate the pedal. Hit MIDI to go back to the edit menu screen and select setup. Now we're going to scroll over and expression pedal minimum and maximum we're going to go over to the minimum, hit enter and move the pedal down to its minimum value. Hit enter again. Now move over to maximum hit enter, and move the pedal to its maximum value. Hit enter again. This is teaching the MFC how far the pedal goes in each direction. Now hit exit to save. So by default, AxeFX presets with a wah pedal in them use an auto engage feature so that users who don't have a switch on their expression pedal can engage the wah pedal. But since we're using a switch, we want to turn this off. To deactivate the auto engage on the wah pedal, we're going to go into the layout screen scroll over to the wah wah pedal and hit edit. Scrolling over to the control knob, you'll notice that there's a modifier attached to the knob. We'll hit enter to open the modifier screen. The source is external one, which is correct. We want the external one pedal controlling the wah. But if we scroll down, we'll see that the auto engage is set to medium speed. We want that off. We don't want the wah turning on when you move the pedal. We want it turning on when you hit the switch. To make the foot switch, toggle the bypass state of the wah wah pedal. We need to go into the input output menu and scroll to control and locate the CC number for the Wawa bypass. We scroll down to Wawa 1 bypass and we'll see that it's CC number 97. Now on the MFC, hold down edit, enter the setup menu and scroll to expression switch 1. We're going to change the type to toggle. I'm going to hit setup, then MIDI, and go over. And we're going to switch the external switch value of off to 97, the same number that was in the input output control screen for wah pedal bypass. Now hit exit. So now that everything's set up, let's check out some of the factory presets. Here's the very first one, 59 Bass Guy, based on a Fender Bassman. Again, this is preset 19, Shiver Lead, based on a Bogner Shiva amplifier.
So that completes the initial setup of the Axtex 2 XL with an MFC and foot control pedal from Mission Engineering. You can visit the G66 website at g66.eu to download manuals in various languages, the Axe Edit software for editing presets, the FractalBot software for easy updating of your Axtex 2 and MFC, and you can visit Fractal's website to download all the new cabinet impulse response packs that have been produced, giving you access to hundreds of IRs made in professional studios across America. Enjoy. Thank <laughs> you.